All right, guys, I'm back to another Dokkan Battle video. So I noticed recently that my player's guide or my beginner's guide for uh, this year has been getting a lot of traction recently. So I kind of wanted to go over more tips and tricks on stuff that I do a lot and that can definitely help out new players who are, maybe aren't too um, sure, especially because you're not going to really see some of these tips uh, from the guides of the game, I should say. So. We're going to go ahead and go over one of the tips that I use a lot, which is uh, if you go over to Awaken, let me just skip past all these. If you go over to Awaken and you click on any unit, so we'll just click on this unit, for example, who I don't have Awakened. You'll notice that I don't have these medals that I need to Awaken the unit. And if you hold on to the, the medals, it'll actually go ahead and tell you exactly where you need to get them. Once it actually loads, there you go. So at the bottom, it's going to say to event. You click on it and it'll tell you on the top right, if it has that like little key symbol. It means that the event is currently not up, but you can use something called Dokkan event keys or story keys in order to, to attempt them. So we could obviously see at the bottom, I have a whole bunch of keys. So if I really wanted to, I could hop back into this event, clear it, and then awaken the units. Next is the Turtle School Intensive Training. So this is like a, a pretty good event that I think that a lot of people should be aware about. So not only does it give you training items, which is really helpful, but it also gives you Kai's guaranteed. So you'll get one Kai every single day per attempt. And then you can also get a whole bunch of missions on the bottom right. So you'll get more rewards the more times that you do this. So I'll even go ahead and we'll just take in this team and Many know, but again, since this is supposed to be more of a beginner's thing, some might not, is that you can actually get some links from this as well, and it has a higher chance to proc them than other events. So we'll go ahead and just let this kind of autoplay. All right. I think Broly should just kill in one hit or not. There he is. <laughs> now he is. awesome so as you can see there we got a character for free go click past the screen we didn't get any links there unfortunately but we did have the chance to get or a higher chance to get one of our links up which is unfortunate but yeah see we got some zenny which is pretty valuable for new players we got a kai which can be very helpful too and then on the Bottom, we can see that we got some training items as well, and these are really, really helpful, especially early on. So then another thing, let's go ahead and hop into the next one. All right, the next thing that we can talk about is when you're building your team, you might notice something called the usable links skills on the bottom left. This is going to more so tell you how your team is going to be basically linking up with each other. As you can see, this team has like 13 links. For example, this team also has 13 links. This team has nine. And what that basically means is it's going to tell you each and every single link that is going to be active when on this team. If there isn't a possibility for it to be active, then it's just obviously not going to show up on the list. So as you can see here, because every single one of our units has fierce battle, no matter what, obviously that link is going to be always active. Legendary power, it's going to be on all of the LRs. So every single LR is going to link up with that. Godly Power, the Super Saiyan Blue and God Goku have. The Warrior God, Super Saiyan Blue, Goku and Vegeta, and the God Goku have. Obviously, like I was talking about, you can just keep scrolling and seeing which links are going to be working well with each other. So if you're starting out and you don't really know who's going to be really linking well with each other, who works well together, you can always check this list out. You can see, you know, exactly who is going to be uh, the best linking partner. So if I see, you know, Trunks and Gohan here, Trunks and Gohan here. Trunks and Gohan here, Trunks and Gohan here, Trunks and Gohan here. I know that Trunks and Gohan are probably going to work really well together because they have a lot of links. Then if we go over to something like uh, the new Dragon Ball Heroes team, we could see that, okay, Janemba and Rose have the same link. Rose and Vegito have the same link. You know, we got a lot of links that can link up with another Rose and Janemba. Rose and Janemba. Did I say... I hope I said Janemba earlier too <laughs> when I was talking about that. But as you can see here, one, two, three 
links that Janemba has and Rose has. Like, obviously that's not the best, but it, it does help. And then we, if we look at Super Saiyan 4, Vegito, and the Limit Breaker Vegito. So, one. Two, three, four, five, six. So I've used, like I was just talking about, this helps a lot easier because you could see all of the links that your team is going to be having with each other. So it could help you build rotations and help you know, like, okay, well now I know the Super Saiyan link is going to be always active. Or uh, maybe I should have this as a rotation because these are the people who are going to be linking up together. And while we're on the, the discussion of links, something that was recently added that could ha definitely help is you may not know what links are best and what the effects do. So automatically when you get a new unit, and we'll, we'll just kind of show it, um, you'll see that they are just level one links, right? And then at the bottom right here, it's going to tell you what the link will be at max potential or the level 10, basically. Level 10 is basically the highest you can get them right now. So at level 10, this link will go from 15 to 20. So probably two is like 15.5, you know, 16.5. Stuff like that, you know, with more uh, more levels, and then you can uh, when once it's obviously level ten, it's gonna say to just take that like level ten thing off. But it's still nice to see what later on those links can become. So like, for example, let's just pull up because I, I don't think I've worked on physical Goku Black. Yeah, so obviously I could say like, okay, well I know that Big Bad Bosses is gonna be good because it's gonna lose that HP restriction. And then it's just going to give me straight up 25% attack and defense if I'm linked up with somebody, which is good. All right, let's go ahead and go into the next tip. All right, and I was recently just asked about this too. So it does help out to kind of <laughs> talk about that and then now kind of talk about it here. So when you're doing the story mode, or we'll just kind of go over to it. We're doing Dokkan Quest and we'll just pick something random. Uh, I gotta find one that I have like a mission on. I think I have any because I mostly cleared all of them. But either way, when you do the Dokkan story mode, you'll notice that you'll you'll have the potential to get these Supreme Kai stones. So if you go over to the bottom right where we just clicked on exchange, you go to the top right where it says treasure and you scroll all the way to the right where it shows them, you can see that you can get this Vegito card, you can get some Elder Kai's, you can get character slots, you can get max stamina. I'll be completely honest, at this time, I do think the Vegito Blue has definitely aged out to the part where it's not worth it anymore. He's just, he's just not good anymore. So it's like, even at his max potential, he's just not, he's just not usable, I would say at this point. Like he he's a he's a cool unit to have for sure, but I feel like he's more so now for box purposes than anything. Or I definitely would not recommend spending your stones on anything other than character slots and max stamina. If you're a new if you're a new player, you'll definitely notice that you don't have a lot of character slots at the start, so you might be running out of box space very very quickly. So that is something to think about. Like oh, if I'm running out of box space a little bit too fast than I I'd, I'd prefer, then probably going for for uh character slots is the best but if you're somebody who's just like bursting out these um these events one by one by one and you're just like okay well i think i want to get more stamina so that way i can do these dokkan events at uh at a higher stamina cost or i'm gonna do it where i use my um i'm gonna use my boost to to use more stamina you might be thinking about just going for more stamina but either way that's up to you me personally, I would 100% more so take the character slots, but that's just because I'm uh, I'm definitely towards the later <laughs> points of the game. Um, but either either of these definitely are, are very helpful. The Elder Kai's do help too, but I think that there's definitely better options or better ways to get Kai's that we'll, we'll be talking about too. But yeah, I would definitely say getting the character slots or the max stamina is definitely uh, something you should get first. <laughs> I, I, I paused the video because I, I totally forgot that you could just look at it from here. But you might notice as well while you were scrolling past that there was like these free to play units and then there was these awakening medals as well. And even some of these uh, like, like as you can see here, there was more Kai's and and uh, 
cool like units and, and awakening medals and training items and stuff so these are really helpful so when you go into the story you'll notice that there are some stages that have these items as well so this was obviously during that story event um i believe this is from the uh the first movie for dragon ball that they did like the first dragon ball movie celebration this is the second one and this is the third one but yeah there are some story events that have these items and you can definitely keep that in mind because those are what i was just talking about earlier about uh <laughs> sorry i have to collect my login bonus real quick but i was just talking about earlier about there being other ways to get kai's well here here's one of them when you go over to event let's go to story all right and then let's scroll down to the bottom here we go so like for example these are ones that do have a, a very high chance of coming back a lot of the times so these all three give you certain items we'll go on info and you'll see that they get this one gives the ruby this one gives the uh the glass and then this one gives the the ran fan that we saw earlier or the rain ran sorry so with those you can like i was just talking about go into the store if you get up uh, a bunch of them you can get some elder kai's for free i was grinding some blood rupees earlier but <laughs> it, it i'll be honest it does take a little bit to be able to get them but it is something to keep in mind and then later on into the story as well we'll start getting these things called incredible gems blue i, I think it's starting from the let me just check i think it's starting from area 31 because that's that's when i it was either area 30 or 31 but either way that's that's also another nice place we can get a whole bunch of kai's as you can see here i have a whole bunch stockpiled so i uh, just click on that let's do that and then as you can see i now i'm getting tons and tons of kai's that i could use on units that i want i just clicked all of these then bam i could even get other zenny from here if i wanted to and the main way that i collect them is i did i just do links so like if, if you're wondering where the best place to level up your links is it's area 31 and then stage four as of the recording of this video to do that and then here's my link level team and i think i can't remember if this place had it where it drops gems i'll check real quick once this run is done and then i'll come back afterwards and say if it is or is not all right it does give you and then as you can see here we both have the blue gems that we got and then also the green gems uh i can't remember what the green gems do but i think they give around the same stuff too you can just check it out real quick i've kind of cleared the entire shop of greens yeah you can get more vegetos here there was these baba metals but they haven't been used very much recently the the these are the what the awaken the lr vegeto but like again i was talking about earlier he's not really that good anymore and then if you want to you can get some keys here as well the keys i was talking about earlier story keys dokkan event keys easy a keys none of these units are worth it for sure i think krillin is like the only one that you could argue but i <laughs> he's he's too old at this point and then you could also get some medals here too if, if you ever are running low but i, I would uh, you definitely won't have as much as i do so uh, <laughs> i guess just get them if you can but yeah i'll probably end it here only because we're already about to be over 15 minutes in and i don't want the video to get to 60 minutes like i did last time but if you guys have any more comments or or tips that you guys want to share in the in the comments if you have any questions as always please ask in the comments i'm, I'm always happy to answer uh leave a like if you guys like the video leave a dislike if you disliked subscribe if you want to see more content like that uh it really does help my channel out a lot and i will see you guys in the next one peace